this is okay. So, what we're doing today is I'm going to take these, my old trusty pair of work goggles that have preserved my eyes from many disasters, many shattering cut-off discs and the like, and I'm going to replace one of the lenses. I think it's this lens, because I can never remember directions. We'll see in a moment. I'm going to replace one of the lenses with a disc of bronze. Uh, this is some of the leftover bronze from making Momo O'Brien's uh, bronze flower crown. So yeah, that's the job. That's what we're doing today. So, uh, the reason I'm doing it is, well, I need better vision when I'm doing dangerous work and work in the workshop and leaving my bad eye uncovered. Well, it doesn't contribute well to that. I need to keep it covered to get clearer vision. And obviously, I still need to protect my good eye, so wearing glass, wearing safety goggles and an eye patch at the same time, a little bit inconvenient. But these goggles have separate cups, so that should help a lot. All right, so we'll get started. First, I'm going to make sure that I am, in fact, doing this for the right lens. Though, it doesn't really matter, seeing as it's just going to be a circle of bronze either way. But yeah, I'm right. It's, it's this one that needs replacing. I was correct. Now this is a very simple marking job. I've taken the lens out. I'm just gonna put it down in the on the bronze in the corner to minimize cutting. Mark it out with a marker. <laughs> Easiest job in the world. And there. There we go, see? Simple. Now I'm going to put that lens back in for now because obviously I still need to protect my eyes while I'm doing this. Both of them. So, luckily this isn't a very... This isn't a job that's going to demand a huge amount of precision or anything. It is cutting a circle out of some metal. Yeah, that might be better, actually. You know what? Hmm. Maybe I 
shouldn't. That's certainly a better place to do the grinding. Have I gotten anyone at all yet? Oh, we have one person. Hello, one person. <laughs> no, here isn't the best place. To, or is it? Still trying to decide where I should clamp this down. It's one of the problems with having so many clampable surfaces. Surfaces. I see you're you, you typing in the chat now. Hello, Camelon. Um, just, just fixing up these goggles. I'm replacing this lens with a disc of bronze. So it'll double as an eye patch so that I can see clearly when I'm working. <laughs> Come here. So, task one is the grinding of angles. So let's grind an angle. That spot I was using, not great, so I'm gonna find somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, and also, like, I still have the bad eye. Um, and it's probably best not to get things not lodged in it anyway. So I still need to protect it. In fact, it's a lump of bronze. My eye will be super protected now. Just have to figure out where to clamp it now. I need to tidy up in here. I've got a whole table I can't use. And it's probably the best place to do it. No, actually, maybe not. No, it wouldn't be the best place. So. Yeah, cr well, crafting means everything on the table, but also I have to install that drill press where it actually belongs, which is over there. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, <laughs> and that'll mean I can, I can tidy things up a little more. Now, let's see. 
Okay. I think I got this, so... <laughs> it's a cheap one I got from Lidl. It's worth like less than 200 euro. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you back over there to that table and I'm going to do the, the grinding of the angle over here. I think that'll do the job. Because I imagine if I'm grinding on the same table that I'm leaving the laptop on, it'll get shaky. <laughs> So I just need to grind the corners off. Well, I need to grind the corners off and then I need to do some sanding. I might not grind them off actually. I think what I'm going to do is put them in the vise and use the hacksaw. Take the corners off, then I can sand. So where is the hack? There's the hacksaw. You know, it's in the place where it's supposed to go, the place where all the cutting tools are, or the, the um, manual cutting tools, rather. to move that vice. Oh, I'm upside down. Oh, that looks like... Huh. Give me one moment. And yeah, there's there's birds. We get a lot of birds in our garden. They they like to sit up on the roof of the workshop a lot. Oh, nothing. You get nothing? Because it looks like things are moving around for me. <sighs> oh, well, there's no one there now. Oh, well.
there, there's nothing missed on this. I don't know. Is this working? I can't tell if I'm, if I'm here. Can't tell. Hold on. Can I even comment in the chat? I don't know if I can. Oh. Do I have a snips? I, I don't have a working snip. Um, I wish I had a snips. Do we have anyone? Is that, is anything happening? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone see me? Hello! <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> I'm very confused. This has been going in and out. I think there was a problem when I moved it earlier. I think that was, that was what caused the stream to drop out for a while. You see and hear me. Perfect, perfect. All right, so what I've been doing is converting a bit of bronze uh, to replace this lens in the goggles. So this is how far we are. I just need to round it off. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. <sighs> so I think for this next bit, I used my um my angle grinder to get the bronze to the well to almost this shape and then used the bolt cutter to get it a little bit further. I think now I'm gonna have to use a sanding wheel. This is probably not that interesting if you're not into like metal work and that kind of thing. Uh I don't know. Maybe you're interested, maybe you're not. Um but yeah, I think the easiest way for me to be able to have proper vision when I'm doing working, but still protect my eyes, is to integrate an eye patch into my work goggles. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot I had this. This is a new tool I haven't really used much. So far I've only used it for this extension, because this is basically a Dremel extension and I love Dremels, they're the best tool ever. But what it is mostly is grinding wheels. And that's actually perfect, that's much better than the sanding wheels I was going to use. 
I was gonna use not proper sanding wheels even. I was gonna use a normal sander with with sandpaper on it and Oh good, good. Well I'm glad you're not bored then. Or I don't know, maybe you are. <laughs> I'm glad at least it's a subject you're interested in. So yeah, um, I'm going to use the, the grinding wheels to get this done. I think it'll give me a better result than trying to use the orbital sander. I'm just so used to to having shit tools and to having hardly any actual power tools that I'm used to having to make do with whatever nonsense is lying around and I keep forgetting that proper tools are a thing. Oh good, that's very good. I love that. I love those times when you've got just a few friends in a room, sitting down, doing their work, not even really talking to each other, just just doing their own stuff. I think it's very companionable, companionable and just very pleasant and nice and low pressure and fun, so I'm glad. It's going to get a little loud though. I'm going to need... Um Need to grab the vice grips. Yeah, there, there absolutely is. <laughs> there, one hundred percent is. It's why I keep dropping off in the middle of tangents to to talk to you. I'll try the other vice grips. Let's just grab all the vice grips and see which one works best. Yeah, I think this one's going to be the one. You can tell them to sprax. Hey Natty, how are you? Right. Yeah, this one doesn't have good enough grip, so Oh yeah, that's much better. I've been quite well, in fact. Um, it's a little annoying. My county is under lockdown. Just a local lockdown. It was under lockdown for two weeks, and now it's going to be under lockdown for another two weeks. Uh, so I'm not able to go to work. But, um, even though work is open. But... It's giving me time to catch up on things and to, to get things ready for, for other stuff and getting to prepare for new projects. Now, um, this is how far we've gotten on the replacement for this lens. I'm going to grind it into shape now on this grinding wheel. It's going to get a little bit loud. Just a little bit loud. You might want to turn it down. I'll give you a five second count to turn down the volume. One, two three, four, five, and I'm going to get going.
little worried this might be too slow. That's not a grind. That one's not grinding me at all. Yeah, this is gonna be too slow. I'm gonna try something else. All right. So, what I'm gonna try instead is I'm gonna plug the Dremel attachment back onto this and try one of the cutoff discs on the Dremel. Because the angle grinder for the amount that I have to take off is overkill. Ridiculous overkill. Um, And of course I put it on crooked at first. Oh come on. You can smell the dyspraxia on me. Would you not go on ya? There. This is one of the few times where it is acceptable to be annoyed with something that's uh, that's not straight. Oh, there we go. It would help if I turned it in the right direction now, wouldn't it? But I am a mess. And so, I need to clamp it down again. I need to grab my little wonderful carousel of... of of Dremel bits. That's cool though. I hope you do get that space, Lily. F finishing up your house. <laughs> that's 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 a forever project though, isn't it? We keep thinking we're done finishing up our house, and then we never are. Never ever are. We're um I think we've just finished up the, um, no, we're nearly finished the sitting room. We want to get the chimney swept and we want to get a, um, a proper, a proper hearth put in at the fireplace. Because it doesn't have a hearth. It didn't have a hearth when we moved in. Ridiculous. Um, so we can have fires because fires are lovely. They're lovely. But, um, yeah, always new things to do. When we're done with the when we're done with the sitting room, we have to move on to the kitchen. And... But yeah, I hope you get your workshop. I really do. I think everyone needs a little space where they're able to do their work and do their stuff. I think everyone should have that. Absolutely, no hearth is completely unacceptable. All right. All right, 
right, let's try and make this a little less danger and a little more safety. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. Have to get the... That's a little better. That's a big move. That's a big move. Um, yeah, I've had to start over a few times myself. Sometimes the tools, you just don't have space to bring them with you, or sometimes they break down. And yeah, you at um, West Coast to Belgium, that is, that's huge. I've had a friend go from, oh, what was it, West Coast to Berlin to here for a little while. <laughs> um, now planning their next move, like... I shouldn't have put the lid back on. Um, I shouldn't have done that at all. I should have kept the, the discs out. Because I break discs. I break discs a lot. Because I'm clumsy. I'm dyspraxic. Danger zone. I've got danger zone stuck in my head and I don't know why. Ooh, Seattle. I have an awful lot of family living in Seattle. It's one of the, uh, the most common places in America that Irish people move to. Lovely city. I visited there once, <laughs> but uh, I would like to go back at some point. Very much like Dublin. Very much like Dublin. I've even had people, friends from Seattle, come over and say this is weirdly like Seattle. Which was when I was living in Dublin, of course. I'm not living there now. Can't afford it.
Oh, there we go. And this, another exploding disc, is why we wear safety goggles. <laughs> they hit, went straight into the lenses. Straight in. Why did I do that? That was not the thing I need to do. Well, how'd you move all the way to, to, to Belgium? If, if you don't mind me asking, obviously. That's a, that's a very big move. Uh, yeah, then the plague. <laughs> uh, my, my wife is from Florida, and she's been wanting to travel around Europe. Um, we had to wait for ages for her residency to get approved because she would have been able to leave the country but she might not have been allowed back in. And then her residency was approved. She's now allowed to get a job and everything. She's allowed to come back into the country if she leaves. And then the plague happened. <laughs> Aha! Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, same as, same as my wife then. How's the uh, the immigration process for Belgium for for here? It was a nightmare. There were so many hoops we had to jump through. Like marrying wasn't enough. We had to get all kinds of other stuff as well. We had to jump through a load of hoops to even be allowed to get married. <laughs> and of course, being married, I lost my uh, medical card. <laughs> Seems to be tightened up. It's just be a wobbly disc or something. Ten steps. That'll be one of my next purchases, proper tin snips. Ah, uh, that that's very helpful. We couldn't even afford an immigration lawyer, we had to do it all ourselves. <laughs> well, I'm glad it went smoothly for you. That's very good. We did pretty well, considering we couldn't, um, uh, the 15 years, that helps too. <laughs> um, it went pretty well, considering we couldn't afford an immigration lawyer, like we got it on our first try. Um, we overprepared everything. We sent them more than they needed every time they asked for something. Um, and I think they, they kind of probably just ended up giving it as, to us out of sheer annoyance. <laughs> um, just realizing that... Oh no, they're never going to stop, are they?
There's another wheel down. Could I get that with the bolt cutter? I'm gonna see if I can get that with the bolt cutter. I might be able to. I might. It's lovely results. Um, I would say your your luck is partially down to the fact that I now have a better device for streaming on. <laughs> I don't know if you were popping in or in and out, or if you were getting booted in and out by my crappy, crappy, crappy equipment. But I have a new Chromebook now, so that may be helping. Chromebook is is why I'm streaming again because my old laptop just it just couldn't it just wasn't able for it and it was too much of a headache to try this is my first experiment well second experiment um, first time doing something proper I'm thinking of putting together a a proper like show that I do once a month with like storytelling and and a good pre-roll and everything and like props and a, an overarching plot and that kind of thing you <laughs> inadvertently meet the stream it was probably for the best <laughs> probably for the best <laughs> This is for.
This is probably not what this is for. Yeah, I think it could be lovely. I think it could be really nice. Uh, I have this whole idea of doing like an old fashioned horror host vibe. Go a little bit Garth Marenghi. Flap discs is gonna take actual years. Well, let's see how far I have to go. Might not even be that far. Oh, it's gonna be a ways. It's gonna be a ways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the bolt cutter another go. I just wanna, like, it doesn't need to be particularly nice. The fact that it's a, a lump of, a, a bronze disc coming out of my eye is already gonna look pretty cool, in fairness. <laughs>
Okay, stream is still going. I think I might have this. I don't know, maybe. Slightly. Close, anyway. Close. Oh, we're close. We're very close. We're very, very close. Okay. Um, here's the thing to do. This is what I should have been doing all along. It's the inner circle there. Not the inner circle. Much bigger than the outside circle. Here's a better way of doing it. The inner circle of the ring, slightly smaller than the actual goggle. Or well, the, the lens. So, this only has to cover that. It doesn't have to cover the full size of that. So I'm going to mark that down instead and cut for that. That'll be much easier. This is the new goal, and that's going to be so much easier to achieve. So let's try a test. Okay. All right. We're down to the point where grinding it will work and won't make it take 10,000 years. So, I'm going to finish it off with the flap disc, or the flap wheel, or whatever the fuck you call it. The Dremel part.
Pero... I noticed this time. I don't know how soon I noticed. I don't know. If, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Oh, hello there. Hey, Sam, how are you? Okay, so there they are, polished lens and everything. I'm actually, now that I've cleaned the uh, lens with the good eye, I can see properly and, uh, well, not properly, but better. Um, and yeah, this is kind of cool. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. I'm good. I'm very good. <laughs> yeah, clean lenses are very important. I need to clean my goggle lens more. Um, well, now I've got half the job to do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the bronze. I think the bronze looks good. I was going to get all dinged up and, and grotty as things go on and weathered. I think that'll add to it. But yeah, now I don't have to worry about my bad eye getting in the way. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I'm afraid you, this is the this is the second time I've had to restart the stream because it's frozen on me. Um, I have it. I I finally figured out how to set up Twitch to record the things that I do, the streams that I that I run. So I'm going to download this later, and I'm going to make it into a video for YouTube. But, um, I'm afraid, Sam. You came in just as I was finishing up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so this is it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And now my bad eye is, like, super ultra mega protected. Let's see some flying debris get through that, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing these, 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 like, probably once a week. Um, I want to do a bunch of eye patches, so I'm probably going to do it fairly regularly. And I'm going to do storytelling stuff, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Twitch is fun. I should, I should use Twitch more. Yeah, I need to I need to catch up with you at some point. I haven't seen you since Bothwell. I need to go to Bothwell again. Bothwell was fun. Now my wife can go. But then well, like obviously not now because plague, but now now if she goes abroad, she'll be allowed back into the country. So we'll we'll, we'll go to Bothwell at some point. She's been wanting to go. I'm rambling. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back to Bothwell after the plague. Because, uh, like, I actually used, um, I used Bothwell on a reference for a job application. 
Um, you probably already know, I work at the, the Leprechaun Museum in Dublin. I am a professional storyteller. And uh, my boss was actually, or the, not my direct boss, there's two bosses, there's the manager and the owner. The owner was very interested in LARP and wants to like try and integrate LARP experiences. We're getting a new location at some point soon and he wants to try and integrate LARP experience into the into the new location, so that'll be fun. And yeah, it's an amazing job. Um <laughs> all like now literally my day job and my side gig are talking about fairy tales. I get paid twice for doing that. A leprechaun LARP. <laughs> That could be fun. Um, there was a plan to do a wizard school LARP here. And it was going to involve um, the, 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 um, the race that does the, all the little jobs. You know, the gnome goblin equivalent was going to be Puka, who are like shape-shifting fairy ghost things that like to have horns. Um, a leprechaun LARP would probably entail hmm, learning to make shoes. Oh, maybe a leprechaun school where you learn to make shoes. You learn how to hide your gold from humans. You learn how to properly invest your gold. Learn how to avoid becoming a chloricorn, which is basically a leprechaun with no gold that's constantly drunk. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to sign off now. This was fun. I have enjoyed chatting with people. And I have a very cool set of goggles now. <laughs> you want to be a chloricon? <laughs> Alright. I will talk to you all another time. I had a lot of fun here. Goodbye. Now where, where do I... Oh. Yeah, it was nice. Now where do I... Oh, where is it? Where, where, where's the thing? No, that's probably not it. There it is. There's the thing.